I'm John with Atherin. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to apply the handrail decals to an Atherin Genesis model. You'll want to start off by cutting out the stripes. Uh, there's more stripes here than you need. When you cut them, make sure that you cut inside the edge of the stripe. You don't want to be cutting outside the edge. We don't need extra decal film on uh, the, the decal that we're using. There's plenty of decal here, so if you make a mistake, you don't have to worry. You can just cut yourself some more. Did you count what? And it'll slide right off the film. Once you have it approximately positioned, you want decal setting solution. I have, uh, I found that Solvaset works best for me, um, but Microsol also works. You want something that's somewhat aggressive because you really need to get this decal softened. And I'm going to use a fine, uh, clean paintbrush to apply it. I'm just going to gently dab the decal. to get it to start softening up. Um, not only do you want to apply to the, the top of the decal, but you also want to uh, get behind the handrail and apply setting solution to the underside of the decal too. And this will take longer than you expect to get the decal to soften up. Uh, the most important part while doing this is to be patient. Uh, you can overwork the decal and actually cause, uh, cause it to deform. Just keep, uh, applying the decal setting solution to the decal on the handrail. You can even walk away from this as lo long as the decal is sitting about where it needs to be and let it dry. Uh, you can always come back and apply more decal setting solution to the dry decal to get it to snuggle down even further. So don't feel like you have to do this in one sitting. Keep in mind as you do this, uh, these stripes are hand applied on the prototype. So they're not even. There's uh, definitely imperfections in the prototype. So if you have a slight wiggle that you're not happy with, uh, it actually might be fairly prototypical. If you're having trouble with all the different curves of the handrail, you can always cut a small piece and get it to line up uh, fairly close. So if you want, uh, like this front edge here is fairly difficult to get the decal to wrap around although this today I had no problem doing it or the small vertical section. Maybe you want to cut just a little piece and nestle that around uh, without having to worry about the whole handrail. You can do this piece by piece. There is more than enough decals here uh, on the, the sheet to do one locomotive. And if you want to practice on another model before you start on this one, uh, you can certainly do that too. All right, so now my decal's soft and it's nestled down here. You can see it's gotten all around my corners here. And it's wrapped around. The decal's wide enough that it goes all the way around the handrail. Um, if you have extra decal film on the sides, it's going to make it harder 
to uh, go all the way around. So make sure you're trimming it right at that side. Once this is dried, uh, you can leave it as is. I find the decal wrapped handrail is actually fairly durable. Um, over time, that decal is going to get a little brittle. So if you have a clear uh, f um, flat or gloss or something, uh, once it's dry, you can just brush paint that over that and that'll seal, seal that decal up and that will be a, a very durable and long lasting um, decal job on your handrail. So there you go. You just want to work slowly. You don't want to overwork the, uh, the decal as you're laying it down, but it's set all around my curves here. Uh, and I'm very happy with that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you give this a shot. Uh, it's very easy to do once you've done it and it's going to make your model look great.